This is at the start of the working day. Um, once. The reason is I'm kind of annoyed to remember from past videos that I had to manufacture that piece out of plywood because the original piece had broken and I think it's exactly the same thing has happened with the two tripods that I have. These are both Amazon cheapies and Pow is a well-known, uh, well at least I see it a lot in my uh, Amazon choices and I guess this one must have actually come with the miniature camera, which I used. Um, it was the cheapest 4K camera I could find, and it came with the uh, the tripod. So, kind of annoyed. I'm not sure how I'll handle that. I guess there's going to be some gluing in my future, but like obviously not strong. Anyway, we'll get started. I got a little bit of tape up tonight. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I kept discovering areas uh, where the, I don't know how to describe it, the mudding and taping that I did the first time was too flawed to merely paint over. So this, I think, is actually the, um, can you see that? This is, is my sanding it was really poor and I somehow managed to sand a channel. So this I don't care about because it's going to be covered up by cabinetry, same here. So I didn't bother with that, but there are many, many places. So here I actually put the tape up anyway, because the, the problem was on the ceiling. So I think I went pretty much the entire way. So really disappointing this side. Um, over here, I did a much better job. And I, I don't know if that was obvious from the videos, but even, even as I was doing it, I was aware that I was doing a better job than I had done on here. So this has to be cleaned up a bit. The problem that I'm running into, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to resolve it, is, let's see if I can make this obvious. Well, I'm going to talk about it uh, and hope that it's visible. Oh, good. Okay. So these lines here, this comes from the edge of the foam roller. And as I'm pushing it, I think I might be pushing too hard. And so a little bit of primer leaks out the edge and then it gets left on the ceiling like that. So uh, right there where I was showing you, it's not, not that big a deal, but there are other places where those lines are actually really, really thick. Um, as in they form some kind of a, a texture. And so I'm concerned that even, yeah, so you can see they cast shadows. So obviously they're very thick there. So I'll, I'll have to sand that down. But my concern is that that texture will show through the paint. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I should stop using the foam rollers, which I don't want to, because I, I really like the flat surface that they, they result in, or uh, it, you know, bite the bullet, go to a cloth roller, at least for the paint. I don't want to, I don't think it's necessary to reprime everything. Although obviously I did a better job priming on that side than I did here. Cause it's very light in some areas. 
anyway, that's the update for today. There's not a whole lot more I can do. And I don't want to open up a new, mix up a new box of uh, mud just yet while I'm working on painting and then priming. So I guess this stuff really won't move ahead for the next little while. Okay. That's it. Uh, there. Okay. Bye.